Sun's gone a little bit, but it's still very warm. This is, we think, the eighth night of the Hillingdon Tuesday Night Crit. We've got Richard Marston has just attacked from the E12s. Here it is, Cosmo. Jake's not having any of that. He's after him with Jamie Pine. He was built. So it's already going to be fast. And after Sunday's hot Hillingdon Grand Prix, it's nice to see an E12s. That little brake's been caught back. Richard Marston's had his moment. Front. And they're all coming back into the race. E12, so it's all change again. We've got Jamie Pine on front. James Wilson going there in front lad. Some signal. The London Phoenix riders moved up from the first one. Oh, Belt Rider had a good dig, but it's come to nothing. He finds pushing the E12s along. There's an attack in the E12s as they come up to the hatch, the thirds and fourths. Well, the E12s and the thirds and fourths haven't quite disengaged themselves yet. The Sully Hall rider still is leading them through. Attack here by Quest. But, as I say, there's a bit of a gap. Don't sit on! Well, an E12's got a little group of wear, including Will Hater. I think it's that Conrad there. No, it's not Conrad, but Will Hater. Hi Wickham's just getting across. AW Cycles. Sully Hall is very lively in this race. That's all good ball there. Mountain Viking good ball. But Jake Martin on the front, giving it some melee. Let's go ahead here. Come on. Oh, it's a bit of a split going on. Prosser and mountain biker Jimmy Wilson has got attacked off in the E12s. Jake Martin. Just going to chase him down, I think. It's been a lively E12 race, this one. Oh, in the E12s, we've got Jamie Pine that's attacked. I think that's quite a good cruise. Loads of London Dynamos, and it's Conrad making the gap. There's Chris Nick over there in the corner, Banjo Cycles. On, this little group has moved away. This is a really tasty looking bunch of riders. So, where have we got? We've got this four with Sam Humpson in this line. So, it's really split. They might well make the bridge. There's a lot of coming up. On, this could be good. Well, the Richard Marsden on the front there with the E12s. It's looking like a good group. They've got themselves a nice... They're, they're talking to each other, screaming at each other to get some moving because, well, basically the race is coming... No, it's a good gap. Doesn't seem to be too much enthusiasm to do the chase. So who's going to win then, Thomas? My dad. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope. Snook on has made this break. Didn't notice that Chris is on the outside there. So it's a really excellent group of riders. And the gap's gone up. They're really working well together. And here they come down for the hill now. Past the wonderful Sunrise Plaza. We've got North Nord Paragon on the front. Tasty race, this it's really good. One says, got Chris Snook and Jake Martin have gone away from this league group. So they're looking very like they're very organized. The gaps, yeah, still quite big. A little break of course, of uh, Chris and uh, Jake is over. Come on, don't let them go. Yeah, the pace is beginning to show now. This barrier and Butterworth on the front. I think the break is now the, oh, the brakes advantage has gone down. One twos are about to catch the third to four for a second time. And I think their advantage has gone up again because sunrise oh they're just coming over the sunrise plaza, which me and Thomas think looks like a, a hotel we we'd really like to spend the rest of well, you know, take our friends to.
Still, on the D12s are coming through the fronts and fourths. Let them go, everyone. Some on the front. Go on, Daddy. Well, our E12 leading riders are doing a good job. I think that's basically them race sorted. Here comes the rest. I think they basically got most of the, the back straight as a lead, so this lot of racing for uh not sure i'll check to see what position so here comes our lead nine conrad on the front they've got a huge gap i mean honestly these two are lap actually the gaps come down a bit and, but there's a lot of racing for 10. so the gap has come down Two to go and the speed's gone up. I think they realise that the gap's coming down, so they've speeded up a bit, this lead group. We'll see you in real time. Oh, it's still a very healthy lead with two to go. The gap did look like it was a lot smaller a second ago, but... Well... A belt for our nine leaders. Finish. Oh, look close, Jake. Maybe. Here comes the rest. This is pretend. Steady. 